Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this scenario, we are going to solve a problem where I want all the unique records from the source to be loaded into one target table and all the duplicate records to be segregated and loaded into another target table. But there is a twist. This is not that simple because I don't want to compromise on the total number of records like I, if there is two occurrence of B or like three occurrence of C then I want all the records to be entered into separate table. I don't want to drop the records. So the total number of rows should be almost the same. Okay. So let's quickly go and create a mapping and test this and see how this works. This is asked mostly in the interview exams for experience resources. Rest, if a simpler scenario would be you could have used a aggregator and check the count and you could have loaded into different target tables. But in that case, your number of records will be reduced. Like for A, you will be getting only one record for B only one and C only one. But in this case, we want to retain the number of records. Okay. Let's see the mapping and then you will understand what exactly this means. Let's quickly create a mapping here. M uh, unique duplicate part one. You will name this like this okay there's a variation to this scenario which is also frequently asked for the like the experience resources and that we will do in another video okay so let's use this source which we which we have been using quite common by now and let's have a target I will also explain step by step that what exactly we are doing. So we will be seeing the demonstration in this notepad. First of all, I will sort this data. Even though this input data is sorted, suppose let's do in this manner. C, C, then B, then suppose F, then E, E. One more E. So let's sort this data. Do you sort on the input data itself in ascending? Much better now. Okay. And we will assign a dummy port here in an expression transformation. We can give any value to that dummy port. We bring the sorted data here and let's quickly add a dummy port here. Okay. Let's give this value as 1. Okay, so you can just imagine now like the data is sorted but it is having value something like 1, 1, 1, 1. Just it's it's the sorted data, okay? So how the sorted data will look like? We have two occurrences of C and two occur three occurrences of this one okay so something it will become like this one uh, a b c c f and i think e and e and one 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 will be appended okay now we will find the count of each of the fields how? Let's see here. 
in an aggregator we will bring the count we will call it as in the visual count let's name is integer and we will write the expression count of this field and we will group by the incoming data so you can imagine here that now what we get is a is having count 1 b is having count 1 c is having count 2 f or i just jumbled it so let's do it like this and e will be count 1 and f will be count 3 so this is giving the occurrences of every individual records like a is having one occurrence total this record is having two occurrences and this is having three times occurrences that is three duplicates okay now we will use a joiner this is very interesting why do we use a joiner you will simply understand we will drag this thing here and because we are already taking an input we will be taking an input from the aggregator so we are going to check a particular property that is sorted input if you are not taking the input from the aggregator there is no need to check the sorted input ok now we will drag these two fields over here ok so we have the field we have the dummy port which is which is having the value 1 and the individual counts now let's give the join condition and we will join on the basis of our incoming field so how the data should look like now if you see what we are having is this is coming from the expression okay and now we are joining with the results of the aggregation so it shows 1 for b 1 for c it is having two occurrences so 2 for e it's having three occurrences for e is having three occurrences i just make changes here so it will write 3 3 3 and for 1 it will be for f it will be 1 so now you got the idea how the data from this particular joiner should look like now it's quite simple for every record which is having this that is the dummy and the count same they are occurring only once for which are having a little different okay they are having two records or this one having three records so for for all these things where these two ports don't match they have multiple occurrences and for all the way where the dummy port matches it has one single occurrence so let's write and or let's make a router and we will take the new field from here we will take the dummy field and we will take the individual count let's make two groups group 1 is for having unique records so it should be something like dummy equals the individual count that's great Yes, it's integer that I wanted to check. 
and for all the records which don't match this condition where dummy doesn't equal to individual count should go to the next target let's create a copy of this so all the unique records will be going to dummy1 and all the duplicate records will be going to dummy11 let's save this and create a workflow quickly We have this thing, unique duplicate records part 1. Okay. Now, before we run, I will have to sort this data, like I will have to provide a real time data. So, I will give 1, C, C, B, 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 then I will give D. Okay. So, we have this as input data. If you go into the target, we will do delete everything. Okay. Let's go over here. And give the input. In the target, I think this should be a unique and this is going to have duplicate records. Okay. Let's save this and run this. It got succeeded. We'll open the input data and check the target data. So unique is A and B and the duplicate record is B three times and C two times. So the very important factor here is that we didn't lose any data. We didn't lose any single row. So for all those people who are working as a senior developer or as a team lead, if they go for the interview, this scenario can be asked and you should understand how to use a joiner, which particular condition, because you are using an aggregator to select the data as an input and an expression. So you should be knowing that you have to check the sorted input and you will be sorting the data before proceeding that is at the beginning of this scenario i hope you understand this scenario and the approach how we used and the visualization of the data it's very important in the informatica scenarios that you have to visualize the flow of data in your mind or just simply see how the data is flowing like every single row is flowing through the transformations only in that case you will be able to reach and finally make a mapping if you have any doubt please do comment and let me know till then happy learning